Hey guys, just want to do a quick review of the Wool's Tin Paper Shredder. Um, I got this particular product about a week ago. And the main reason I needed this was because I had a lot of confidential papers that I didn't really want to keep a hold of, you know, store in a, in a file or anything, but I needed to get rid of them and make sure that, um, you know, that information just wasn't out there. There's always those stories of, you know, mail getting taken or something from the garbage and people having your information and, you know, just a bad story. So we ended up getting one of these paper shredders, um, got it off of Amazon, great deal. Um, and it had lots of great reviews. So I decided to go ahead and give it a shot and give it a try. Um, but I have used it quite a bit now. Like I said, I got it about a week ago, but I have used it several times and it has worked fantastic. Um, but I just want to kind of go over some of its features and kind of give you all my general review of it. Let me go ahead and get this camera up close and personal and we'll take a better look. Alrighty, so getting a little closer here. Um, we'll start with the top. So what you got here, you've got a bay for CD, DVD, whatever. Um, you can actually put your credit cards in there if you want to shred cards or, you know, whatever you can put those in there. Um, you can't actually, I'm sorry, you can actually put them in here. You don't want to put them in here. This is for CDs. This is where you put your, uh, your cards as it is indicated here. Um, you just slot it right there. Um, it also does have some indication here for what you can and can't do. Imagine that you cannot stick your finger in there. Yeah, I would not recommend putting your finger in there. Um, but like I said, this is where it tells you what you can and can't do. There it is, the 10, 10, max of 10 sheets, and we actually will be testing that. I do have uh, 10 sheets here today that we will test it with. Uh, moving over here to the right side, you've got three different switches here, or a switch that has three different options. So auto, you put it in there. If it goes, through, it'll basically automo automatically turn on. Um, it'll shred it. If it's more than it can handle, like if it jams or something, it'll actually automatically reverse. Um, this is a auto off feature, so if you stick paper in here, it's not gonna do anything. It's kind of like a safety feature, so if you've got little kids or something, you can leave it on the off setting and they won't be able to put anything in here um, and it will not start automatically shredding it. So I'll leave it on the auto position. We keep this in our office. Uh, I mean, I really don't have to worry much about that. Um, and then the reverse, as you can hear, all reverse does is reverse the shredder, the blades inside and pushes whatever's gone in and pushes it back out. So, um, but that's pretty much it. Kind of a bin look here what you've got this is the bin it's actually clear you can't really see too well but it is clear um, and that is where you can actually see your indication level of when you are full and ready to dump as it has here so right about around here is when you're going to want to um, dump it so let me get this turned off here the back side not really a whole lot on the back let me go ahead and lift this up here so you just pump this off the top and this is what we got below there's all your blades and um, that's what's doing all the shredding in there. Um, and there is some more of your, uh, some clippings that I actually shredded. So um, as you can see, this does a great job of shredding it. I mean, it's basically useless. Nobody's gonna wanna go through all this. If, the, if you've shredded something, they're not gonna try and put that, piece that back together. So um, it's a great, great way of getting rid of documents that you want to throw away and not hold on to. So let me get this back on the tripod. We're actually going to test it on a old Discover card I've got along with 10 sheets of paper. So once I let me get this back on the tripod and we'll get to it. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the card just so I can take the shavings out or the clippings and show you just how well it chopped it up. And so I'm gonna go ahead, set it to the auto position and it's done just like that. So let me go ahead and switch to the off position just for safety and let me get some of these clippings out of here. Yeah, there is no way in the world anybody is going to be able to go through this and find any kind of information, log legible at least. So here's just a few pieces. I mean, it is completely just cut into tiny pieces. So, I mean, there's no way anybody's going to go through that and be able to recover anything. So um, that is with the card. Let's get back to the auto position. 10 sheets of paper here. You're just gonna trust me, this is 10 sheets of paper, I counted it. And, but let's go ahead. So this is at its max, like I said, 10 sheets. And it is just going right through that. Shredding it up, did a fantastic job. In most cases, you're never gonna do 10 sheets, at least in my sense, it's mainly just envelopes, so it's a quick, it's much quicker. That was its max setting, so it was kind of pushing it, um, but 
like I said, tin sheets. It, it was able to cut the tin sheets, no problem. And as you can see, tin sheets has cut it into tiny slivers. Um, and this actually gives you the opportunity to see where that it is clear there, and that is where you uh, would see that it is full. So, um, but yeah, that is the review of the Walsh tin paper shredder. I think it's a fantastic product, and I would highly recommend.